You're a member of Breck's party, huh? Now I understand how you got all those big contracts. He's good for this country, good for all of us. You really think he's gonna make it, don't you? I don't know of anyone who could stop him. Why would you say human? Human, that's a very odd thing for another human being to say. I didn't say human, Mr. Governor. I said inhuman. Lousy, inhuman bastards. Lot 8, one male chimpanzee in early prime and perfect physical condition. Take a good look at this specimen, ladies and gentlemen. This has to be the buy of the afternoon. Early prime, perfect physical condition. Now, under observation, he appeared so familiar, obedient, docile, and intelligent with humans that conditioning was not considered necessary. But it certainly can be provided on request. We're going to start the bidding on this specimen at $800. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, what am I bid on this superb specimen? Bidding starts at $800, $800. What am I bid for this superb... Who said that? 900. I hear nine over there, nine over there, nine over there. 950. 950 over there on the end, 950 on the end. 1,000. 1,000 from the gentleman on the end. $1,000 over here, $1,000. 1100. 1100 over here, 1100. 1150 in the back row. 1200. 1200. The third indispensable element in building the new prosperity is closely related to creating new jobs and halting inflation. We must protect the position of the American dollar as a pillar of monetary stability around the world. In the past seven years, there's been an average of one international monetary crisis every year. Now, who gains from these crises? Not the working man, not the investor, not the real producers of wealth. The gainers are the international money speculators. Because they thrive on crises, they help to create them. In recent weeks, the speculators have been waging an all-out war on the American dollar. The strength of a nation's currency is based on the strength of that nation's economy. And the American economy is by far the strongest in the world. Accordingly, I have directed the Secretary of the Treasury to take the action necessary to defend the dollar against the speculators. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the United States. Now what is this action, which is very technical, what does it mean for you? Let me lay to, re lay to rest the bugaboo of what is called devaluation. If you want to buy a foreign car or take a trip abroad, Market conditions may cause your dollar to buy slightly less. But if you are among the overwhelming majority of Americans who buy American-made products in America, your dollar will be worth just as much tomorrow as it is today. The effect of this action, in other words, will be to stabilize the dollar. Now, this action will not win us any friends among the international money traders. But our primary concern is with the American workers and with their competition around the world. To our friends abroad, including the many responsible members of the international banking community who are dedicated to stability and the flow of trade, I give this assurance. The United States has always been and will continue to be a forward-looking and trustworthy trading partner. In full cooperation with the International Monetary Fund and those who trade with us, we will press for the necessary reforms to set up an urgently needed new international monetary system.